Any guys five feet apart. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to episode 26 of the Three Guys Five Feet Apart podcast. As always, I'm your host, Michael. Joining me today are... It's your boy, Austin. It's Jonah. It's Chris. It's Alex. And we continue to have our special guest from last episode. Wait, I thought this one was coming out first. This one's coming out second. Oh. It's episode 26. Yeah. Last one was 25. Well, That's kind of how numbers again. work. Joey Pennington from from from, from, uh, from, uh, from from Movie Ticket Review. You're still a guest. Time. You're a probationary yeah, member. Uh, no, I, I said I, last time I posted something was in 2019. I believe it was actually 2017. So no, I, it's a ways away. We've adopted Joey. All right. Um, as we we're actually recording from a different area than usual, we rented a cabin out in uh, Dunwich, Massachusetts. It's, it's uh, it, it was pretty fun until it started raining and the storms rolled in. Yeah, I got it. Massachusetts before. Yeah. Atmosphere. It was a nice drive up, like all the hills and stuff. And no, it wasn't yeah. raining when we got. Here. Yeah, it was a very nice weather. There's a nice hot tub. There, there is a nice hot tub. We can't really use it because it doesn't have like a cover over it, and it's like storming and lightning's coming down. So I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> yeah. I I don't want to die, so we'll just leave the hot tub till till the morning. Um, it's it's pretty nice. Yeah. We got a super cheap rental. I think the guy said like the last people like died or OD'd in the living room or something. So that's why we chose nice. it. Half off. Yeah, it was super cheap. It, it was even cheaper because he hadn't replaced the rug yet, so we could still like have all the, the stains everywhere. I didn't know that. I that was... <laughs> yeah, you you put your sleeping bag down in the middle of the rug. It was a. Uh, I didn't want to say anything. I thought it was a Jackson Pollock thing. Yeah. <laughs> I brought a black light, but I'm too afraid to turn it on. Yeah, I <laughs> um, Other than the weather, uh, how's everyone doing? <laughs> That's the topic. Uh, I'm doing just fine. How about you, Michael? <laughs> just shut up about my topics. Um, I think we're all doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. Is that what people come to listen for? They, they come to listen to... The, the whole point of the podcast is just like a casual like hangout for all of us. Yeah, let's talk about... Something. Jonah, how's it going? Uh... How's how's uh, anime? Star Wars Visions, baby. Star let's Wars go. Star Wars Visions. Did you actually oh, watch, you watch it? it? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you tell me about it? Because I haven't seen it. Yeah. It's pretty epic. It's, um, pretty epic. I forget how so, many animators in Japan, but pick some of the top uh, animators. Yeah, they're all pretty. They're pretty awesome I mean, studios, it is Disney, but it's like a different anime studio for every episode. Yeah. So it's like, like a different. I like those story. artistic like, what, expressions. What kind of, they don't like direction in Star Wars did they go? They were allowed the, to do basically anything. anything. So like yeah, each director like did something completely different, and each episode is just like completely new. Uh, I feel so, like so like it's a whole bunch of like short stories. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, short stories. I feel like every podcast episode we talk about like Marvel or Disney or something. Yeah, yeah. that's because we're. I, I have a that's our yeah. Our I have a I have a superhero topic that I thought of that I'm like this is this is genius. I have one too. Okay. Do you want to go first? Well, I think we're still on vision. Okay. okay. Oh, we are? <laughs> I thought we were past it. <laughs> okay, maybe we were past it. Okay. People want Liam Neeson to be Magneto. Um, or um, Black. Why? It's a bit popping up. Uh, I don't. It's not just because we like Liam Neeson. I could see him as both. I think I lean more towards um, Magneto. But a Liam Neeson Galactus, if they get that like good reverb on his voice or something, um, Liam Neeson's a great voice. And maybe not so much his likeness, uh, but I think uh, he could pull off a good Galactus too. Or he just need kills her. Yeah, I was gonna say Galactus. I hope that dog, that dog like, like Ralph didn't Magnus get picked up on the microphone. Like Michael Fassbender, and then yeah. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Michael yeah. Fassbender. Both those guys. Were they were. Yeah, so Magneto is this. You have to get like this sort of. He's one of those cool villains that's always seems like he's always like kind of calm and relaxed about things, but at the same time, like you can set him off. And Magneto always has the power to back it up, which is always really cool about his character. Um, I had this thought about. Okay, so you know how <laughs> Spider-Man made his money, but Joey, did I cut you off? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, was just gonna say, I feel like you're really offended now. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just would. I don't know if I see Liam Neeson being either. Of, I, I I have a trouble seeing him, especially as Magneto, because I know he had to be in person with Galactus. He could be CGI, yeah. but like, I think his voice would be cool. But my, 
I don't see Disney going with such an older person for mm, Magneto. That's that true. Is, that's a good point. I feel like if they're going to do X Men, they're going to bring in someone they can do for right. like 10 Right, movies. exactly. That's right. Like, but Magneto needs to be more middle aged because yeah, he is like, kind of older. Like, I imagine. Yeah, Magneto well, at one, one point he wasn't. Person. Yeah. They're also but I mean, RDJ was middle aged. That's true. Was, what was he like? Probably 30 or 40. I don't uh, know. I'm not 100%. But there, there's a little wiggle room there. Yeah. Um, so I had this thought, and it was because I was thinking about Spider-Man, because you got to start making money by selling pictures of Spider-Man to the Daily Bugle, right? And I kind of evolved this concept. Like, would that make sense if you were to do, like, a modern reboot of Spider-Man? No. No. But here's what would make sense. Oh I'm going to say it. Do it. No. Superhero no. only no. fans. No. Think about it. Take Superheroes it could make you need to hella money. that. Superheroes can make hella money selling their OnlyFans <laughs> no. subscriptions. Think about it. I mean, I'd buy them. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> Think about it. Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel could sell OnlyFans picks. You're right, but this just shows how much like, of weeds and nerds we are. Who's the first one you're buying? Oh, uh, oh. definitely uh, so. Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. <laughs> Silk. Silk. <laughs> yeah, uh, but think about it. Like, if you were a superhero, <laughs> and you said Spider Woman. Yeah. yeah. Instead of you know selling pictures of you in action to a newspaper, sell OnlyFans pictures, where it's like you got the bad guys webbed up and you lift up your shirt or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought we were. Just oh, wait. If it's just like lifting up your. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we're not talking spider dick. No one wants to see okay. spider dick. Yeah, that's what I but spider man's like super toned and ripped, so he could like do one where he well, has like the pants uh, and mask of his sure costume, but he's got like he's shirtless spider. and maybe he's like oh, squeezing absolutely. a sponge over him. I don't know. I mean, like if okay, it's as so simple as that, then like yeah, I think they could do that. But if it's going a step further, I feel like that would just damage their brand, exactly. and there'd be so much controversy around the superheroes. Heroes represent America. Like, like America. my children. Oh my God. <laughs> And they're supposed to like be a good example for children. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess well, they also kids can't get on OnlyFans. It's just OnlyFans only thoughts so are not yeah. not good idols for children. Plus, you ever feel like, because like I don't know why I just thought about this, but you know how like some like characters have origins based on like wars or like atrocities that happened in like the 40s and yeah. 50s. Magneto. Yeah. This was, yeah. Or like, you know, like Wolverine. Like all these, all these people have like go through different things. Um, you think like the farther we get like 2030, 2040, 2050, like eventually it's like you pretty much have to rewrite his origin story because it happened a hundred years ago. I or, think it would be like a different um, like, giant. I think Magneto, they actually retconned him, like he got, they made him younger, like some kind of device restored his youth. Um, so they can still keep the whole uh, Auschwitz backstory for him. Um, and as for Wolverine with his healing factor, you can oh, just yeah. keep expanding it forward. You never have to change his origin. Captain America has the super soldier serum, which they've debated, like keeps you young. Um, and you could always just move up the date when he was got thought out. That's true. Um, Iron Man, they already retconned his origin. Originally, I think he got injured in, like, he he went to, like, Vietnam to do a weapons test. Yeah. And then in, like, a recent retcon, they changed it to Iraq. Um, so, so they, they do... war comes up. Right? Yeah, they do, like, little retcons here comes. and there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they ever changed the Punisher, because the Punisher's origin was he was a soldier in Vietnam. That was kind of his back and sort of got all his training to, like, take out bad guys. I could be wrong, but I think in the... TV show was Afghanistan. Okay. That's what they changed it to. And that just makes sense. Yeah, you just yeah, need to update. Yeah. So, they'll probably, as you said, just, whenever the new war drops. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll always be a, there'll always be something to inspire these characters. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, the Hulk, it's weapons be. test, so you can just pop that whenever. Yeah, whenever. Thor's immortal, so it doesn't matter. We go. <laughs> but what about Star-Lord? He's in space. He doesn't really have anything to do with Earth. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Yeah, you stupid slut. Peter Quill is amazing. Like, so you're sounding like my girlfriend now. Why? Because she likes Peter Quill. She loves Peter Quill. She wants me to mm-hmm. cosplay as Peter it's Quill. Really yeah. Yeah. I said only a few cosplays. Hey, <laughs> hey yeah, Peter Quill. 
That's a Mario good. is Star Lord. Mario is Star Lord. Uh, Star Lord. Uh, Sorry. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I thought that was fake. When I heard it. So you yeah. thought? I love I all the like so things coming out of it where it's yeah. like. And then I look. People are making like little I, animations I of like. Uh, Chris Pratt's Parks and Rec. They'll oh, take like yeah, snippets of dialogue and move it over like a Mario CGI. It's beautiful. Yeah. Or like they'll take Charlie Day's stuff from It's Always Sunny in Philly and put it over like a Luigi. Uh, I don't know. I don't the thing really is, it's gonna know. be so bad. It's gonna be great. Yeah, like, it's gonna be like the movie for and like just, the year. We basically. have to oh, see shoot. it now. Just, girlfriend's calling me. I need to step out real fast. Just all right. Okay. See ya. Like but. I have no idea of how. He's supposed to be Mario. Like, how? I don't, I've never heard yeah, an Italian he accent. Yeah, he no. doesn't sound like Mario, but they could just be like, I don't know. I agree. Like, I, feel like, I feel like I feel like they could just say like, oh, he's from America, so he has an American. Right. I, it's just big name actors. Where, but the only reason why I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'm interested in it to the slightest degree is because of the Lego Movie. Yeah. And he like, yeah, he the, did do good voice in that. Right. I, I don't I don't I can't see him as Mario, but only because of the Lego movie. I'm like maybe a live action maybe Mario movie back in like nineties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Bro I never saw that it. movie yeah. is so bad <laughs> but it's so funny. Like there's like live it's action like, like where like they come in the Yeah. Like, they end up getting like through. Yeah. There's like some weird like they go into like a creepy sewer and the like the Koopas they all Yeah, like, yeah. and the old Yeah. I've never seen them. I Neither have I. I've just seen bits and pieces. It's probably the worst ever. movie ever, but it's you should watch. What's it's a weird movie that exists? Um, they made George Lucas didn't make one, but he made two Ewok movies. Yep. What? what? I have no yeah. idea he did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he made the first one, liked it so much, he made a second one. Like when feature you, length where? or like short film? I think feature length. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, had I, don't think I don't know where you find them. I've watched them on TV once, like a long time ago. Yeah. Interesting. They're, I thought it was kind of like I'm weird. never it's not very heard of them. Like, but like, yeah. what's what's the plot? Like, like it was, the you want to be honest? Like, like I know they yeah, exist. Yeah. Like, there's, there's a very like medieval feeling. Like, there's like this weird castle. I remember yeah. uh, these kids that look like barbarians. But there's no, there's no like black and white. Yeah, uh, but there's no. Then, like, didn't they try to do the? They did like that Christmas special too. Yeah, like, uh, that was, yeah, yeah, I heard that was there. Never watched. There are though movies his before Star Wars that he made, like how he got to start. Mm. I don't remember the names of them. Pretty good. They're supposed to be though, no. so I, I want to check them out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Star Wars is at this weird point where to like. I don't feel like there's ever gonna be any great movies. That's why you don't watch Star Wars Visions. Like I feel like well, <laughs> that's, well that's what I was gonna I was gonna say like I feel like the only good things coming out of Star Wars is the, the, show. the shows. Yeah. Mandalorian. I don't like anime, but like Visions is doing really well. Have you um, have you watched actual like Clone Wars like cartoon? Or what? Or have I haven't seen them all the way through, through only some, but I've but seen like it's actually pretty it's good. Amazing. It's like yeah, yeah if you watch it's it. All of that for all of them. Yeah. I haven't so watched Rebels, but I watched some actual like Obi-Wan TV show. I am so pumped. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Send that together again. Win. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty lit. Pretty <laughs> lit city. Pretty um, I, lit. I'm also curious, am I the only person that likes The Last Jedi? Uh, yeah, I personally love it. Oh yes. uh, yeah, you're you right. Yeah. That's the yeah. I forget, is that the one it's where the one where it's, it's the, the second of the third trilogy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you a table. We're gonna be respectful. We all hate. You're a guest. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair. I I know there's definitely. I understand the hate. I understand. Why do you love it? More like what? Like, what, what Wait, do we love it though? Yes. Oh, okay. Like it's honestly okay. like my second favorite Star Wars. Movie. Which okay. so obviously it receives massive amounts of criticism. What points of criticism are you like? That's a stupid criticism. Like, uh, I just, you know what I mean? I just like how different it is. Like, it just, it, it, it's still Star Wars, but, like, it just changes it up a lot. I mean, I that's will, point. there's, like, some moments that I will definitely say, I'm like, that's stupid. Like, the whole Rose saving Finn thing. Yeah, I, that yeah, irritates yeah. me every single time. Rose. But, 
So yeah, Rose, I think, is fine. <laughs> I, I don't like what they did with her character in Nine, especially, because they're like, she got so much... they didn't do. Exactly. <laughs> because they, <laughs> they basically <laughs> was right. Because I was like, I was hoping it'd be a little bit of a redemption, because like she got so much hate from episode eight, yeah. and then they just did nothing with her. I'm like, well, that's that's very disappointing, because they just like kind of let Not the trash well. haters go on. So I, that, I just liked how different it was. And like even like afterwards i'm like yeah they're stupid things i'm like yeah maybe i didn't like it as much as i thought i did and i just got wrapped up in the moment because i saw opening day but then when i went back and watched it i'm like no i still think this is pretty freaking great but that i i hate i hate um the rise of skywalker that, that's my favorite yeah the thing i hear the most is a lot of people think that a lot of people their biggest problem is when they say that yes yeah. character is what he should be but yeah. there's like a big argument about like he should be that way because of all the things that have happened to right. him the things so many years. Um, it's a first your expectation. I just feel like Luke in the original trilogy, I always just felt like Luke was literally just this like beacon of hope. Like literally it no, felt sure. like um like the rebel was taking massive L's, but like Luke was still alive, so it was like, well they got a chance. Yeah. So like they just kept going yeah. well like in like the I guess really only the second one because like it really isn't in the first one and then not really in the third one so I guess really like the the new trilogy is what I'm reading my mind so, okay, so no, he's, not, he's only in really an eight he's not in seven right. or nine right um, I felt like in eight he was just like oh uh, this guy had a bad dream I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill him like, that's, <laughs> like he had like no hesitation he was like I'm gonna slaughter this kid in his sleep but like his dad is like a galactic like literally creates has like war crimes and like does all these crazy things and he's like there's some good in him a kid has a bad dream I'm gonna kill him well, just, well I think he sensed the like the cause like in all those movies he was always like learning and being taught to go with his feelings Okay. Then, like, so he did what he was taught and, like, went with his feelings this mm-hmm. time. And, um, <laughs> still he pretty much stop the kill a kid like that. I, I, I just think... Oh, and he was, like, everything that happened before, he kind of felt like it was his fault and he, like, didn't want stuff like that to happen again. Mm-hmm. He didn't, because he hated everything with the Jedi council and then stood for and like he was trying I to did think that point was interesting yeah. Yeah. Like when he was yeah. talking about that yeah because like I feel like like the Jedi can oh we gotta recreate the Jedi council but see like, what what's the point because another Jedi council but yeah, yeah that was way yeah. or right. it would have been cooler if they didn't like screw Kylo Ray's character like if Disney grew some grew some no I was no. Did you do it? No, I think they did. Uh, Ray, yeah. Ray yeah. should have been the dark together. side. And yeah, Kylo should have been, been fine. Side. Oh, like he should have been a Jedi. Yeah. No, yeah. I, 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 I really wanted it to be a dark ending. I didn't want it to be like no. I wanted oh, Ray to yeah, turn to the dark yeah. side, and Kylo yeah. had to kill her because he turned to the light side. Yeah, I know. I know. I would have been so sweet. But Disney would have never done it. I know. I would have totally been on board with that instead of that stupid freaking kiss. I want to ask, was. Joey's opinion on them bringing back Paul, Paul Platine. Oh, I hated it. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely stupid. Yeah, I thought that was, that was weird. They should have just made Kylo the main bad. Yeah, yeah. That, would yeah. So much that was so. Stupid. Like, I didn't really like Kylo, but I would have they rather him Kylo's than Palpatine. Char- yeah, they killed Ben's character. They killed Ray didn't have a character. Kylo was one of the better characters. Though. Kylo, was, like, yeah. they could have explored more with him. Like, I feel such a like opportunity. Kylo yeah, so could have been a chill. much better character. Yes, I agree. Yeah. What they here's here's here was here's what my dream. Um, I was really hoping, like the dark ending that you were saying, I wanted Ray and Kylo to like turn to the dark side and like rule the galaxy, Iron Fist, all that kind of crap. But then I wanted like towards the end to like lead up into the next trilogy is like Finn's a Jedi. So that's like there's your beacon of hope to watch the next trilogy. So that way, and then like introduce. I thought he was I th- interesting. I thought Finn was actually a really good character, but yeah. then, like, they put him together with Rose, and, like, they didn't really yeah. do anything with Rose or Finn, and then for the last movie, they were just like, well, no one really likes their characters, so they just, like, chopped them out the window. Right. And then, but, it was, but, like, the first, 
Like, is, is that Did you guys uh, hear that sound? Oh, I'm gonna go check that out and see where Michael is. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, he has been gone for a while. So probably beat his meat. <laughs> probably. Honestly. <laughs> Well, he's not enough. Because <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> or maybe he is. And he didn't want us to go to the hospital. Uh, questions. This is not good. It's kind of damn it. Well, this is Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is everyone's favorite in Fire Strike Back? Or not? Mm-hmm. It's so hard not to. That. Yeah. It's just, like, I try. Like, I really try to be like. Like, the only other one that I could think would be better would be a new home. That one's great too. Well, yeah, yeah I'm not the one where you can like go in the terms of the rest of the set. Yeah, that one uh, would be number three right. for me. I have a list. Hang on. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> you my, said I got this written out. My, my favorite's uh, Return of the Jedi, actually. I have a really? Movie. Yeah. The, the third of the, the yeah. original? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, it's, I just think it's an absolute blast. Like I think, it, I think it's good. Like, I'm not yeah. like. Mm-hmm. No, I obviously. Empire Strikes Back is number one to most people, but I, I think uh, the Jesus, I so many words in these titles. Uh, Return of the Jedi is just, I, I don't know. I, I think it's just so much fun, and like I don't know. It, yeah. it hits me. I do think it like capped off the trilogy very well. Yeah, it's a, a solid trilogy. Hmm? I'm a freak guy. I do really like the prequels. I know like a lot of people yeah, don't. Right. I don't understand why one. I like the third one. I think the third one's good. The third one's great. I just love, like, the lore. Yeah. And, like, the politics now behind it. But no, some people get more like that. Let's do some yeah, basic... Yeah. Let's do some basic clickbait stuff. Let's rank the Star Wars movies. All right, I got okay. it. Let's start with the worst one. Guys, we all know it. Uh, whatever. Phantom Menace. Yeah, Phantom Menace. Definitely. Oh, okay, part. see? <laughs> Darth Maul is but, so cool. Yeah, I know. And that's what's weird. Darth Maul is so cool. What's the Star Wars one? Uh, oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Duel of Fates. Yeah, yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. I, I personally say Rise of Skywalker is the worst. I hated that movie. Oh, we're adding the last. <laughs> yeah, all the whole, all, between all Skywalker, the yeah. whole Skywalker. See, I would even throw see, in, in my one. head. I don't even. Yeah. I just knock off the new trilogy. Yeah. It's not Star Wars to me. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's, like, it's just a Disney movie. It's, it's Disney, bro. And are we counting like? Um, Rogue One and Han Solo. Yeah, yeah. I thought I, I think so. Actually, yeah, think sure. are not Solo. bad. So, so those, yeah, it's not bad. Actually, Rogue, Rogue One, I think is amazing. Yeah. Oh, Rogue One is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have so that number four. So Rogue, Rogue, Rogue One made me horny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's, what would be the next one? Okay, I don't know. Um, so I, I would personally say episode two. Well, I, I would say, uh, Okay. Uh, right. Rise of Skywalker and Listen, then episode If two. we're putting the new My trilogy friend. in, mm-hmm. then I'm taking <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> Basically, moving on. Put the back so like nine, eight, mm-hmm. and then seven, and then yes. Phantom yeah. Menace. I feel, like, Phantom I feel like I feel like the only reason why people don't like seven is it's a copy and paste of New Hope. Uh, yeah. yeah, but see, the only reason the movie was good is because the copy and paste. Because if they did their own thing, it would have been trash. Clearly, it would have been trash because <laughs> they tried that and it didn't work. <laughs> I know Joey has way <laughs> just, just on the last Jedi, I okay. would say my second, so like the Wait. one not the bottom, but one above from the bottom would be episode two, in my mind. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I, I understand what people like episode The only, only watchable part is like all the lights in the place. That's dope. Well, yeah. uh, and the story, yeah, especially the one with Yoda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, with the uh, uh, sexy uh, boy. The flirting Count between Jimmy. Padme yeah. and Anakin is the worst flirting. I hate I seeing Anakin. Anakin. Oh, it's, it's like <laughs> so great too, though. It's so funny. Yeah. It's just she's like, oh my god, I love sand. Reminds me of my childhood. It's like people go, oh, David Christian. I fucking hate sand. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm related to legal questions. What's the uh, would be above you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it's Sam. <laughs> okay. Well, so like, I think our lists were all different. Yeah. But, yeah. For sure. So this is tough. I don't know. Everyone, just say what the third worst one is. Uh, episode one. Episode one. Wait. No, we're putting Rogue One. Four. Um, yeah. yeah. I probably put Solo there. Yeah. Um, 
Wait, where, where are we? Third. Wow. Third from the bottom. Third from the bottom. Wait, I would say the bottom. I would say the last Jedi. That would be my third from the bottom. Yeah. Last Jedi is completely worse than its yeah. um, Rise of Skywalker and then it's that's the first one. Yeah, and I agree. That, that's... No, the first one out of the new series. Oh, um, oh Force Awakens. Force yeah. Awakens, yeah. yeah. All right. I think the next one for me... That's tough. Um... I guess it would be The Rise of Skywalker. Well, see, I didn't hate that movie. Because I, I also went into it. So, like, for The Last Jedi, I had really big hopes. And I felt like it was let down. <laughs> yeah. I, I, had those, I had really huge hopes for it. Because I was like, okay, you did kind of do a copy and paste of A New Hope. And that's fine. Like, you know what? Let's just see what, let's just see what you got here. So I had a huge hope. Um, the trailer and marketing for yeah. Last Jedi was great, too. Yeah, exactly. Especially the title. Awesome. So, yeah, because I was like, oh my god, I like, won't die. Right. So I was like, I gotta go see this. And then I was a huge letdown. And then I was like, all right, well, it can't get any worse than this. And that's what that was my thought <laughs> going into Rise of Skywalker. That could be why so, I hate the Rise of Skywalker more, because I love The Last Jedi. Got to you and then like, the Rise of Skywalker, I'm like, oh, this is absolute trash. Yeah. I, think, I think the problem that I have with the newer trilogy is like they were like okay we're gonna we're just gonna take something from the old and i'll so like revamp it or whatever and then we're gonna try something completely different with the last jedi mm -hmm. there's not even gonna be a lightsaber fight so then we, i mean like kind of okay, like, but it was a lightsaber like, yeah um so we're gonna try something completely different and then they were like oh shit, that didn't work right um of course correct yeah, Rose, you don't even exist. Um, Finn, there we go. There Finn, Finn, yeah, Finn, you're like. I mean, there's two there different directors too. Yeah. There was barely yeah. any continuity. They should have made it one. It felt like everything that the happened in that comes out of nowhere. Of course, not like she could yeah. have for well, like yeah, technically, but like it was hinted at it before. So yeah. that's why I was like, I mean, I freaking cool this. Superman. I mean, I think in the right. four it, books, it looks stupid. Like, I was like, <laughs> I, yeah, I just felt like, I just felt like if you're gonna do something different, just commit. Yeah, like, just, I agree. I just thought, go for it. Even yeah. if I didn't like it, but I was like, if you're just gonna, just go. Like, right. Just, they run the, finish the you, race. You you already made your choices. Now stick with. Them. Yeah. Or the, the, I mean, I think she's uh, attractive. Is that does that count? As an actor. As an actress? Well, listen, I think she's a fine actress. I think Disney just doesn't know how to write Star Wars movies. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, she's just like a generic, like. Yeah. That's, that's kind of. Like, she that could, was. Like, honestly, I think her acting's fine. I've like, never seen her in anything else. I yeah. thought about watching Chaos Walking, but I heard that's stupid, too. Have you seen uh, Murder on the Orient Express? I heard that she I was really not. good at that. Yeah, I heard she's that was wrong. Wrong. Yeah. I like her. I love it. But. I just feel like. Um, oh, what's it called? What's it I feel like the new trilogy and the one, like yeah. the and then they prequels, randomly made I feel like they have, like, I really like Poe. I like Poe, but like, he just came out of nowhere. They're like, he's like the most important person in this movie now. Yeah, I agree. Because honestly, I forgot that he was even a thing in the yeah, first like one. When I saw The Last Jedi, I'm like, who is this guy? They like barely used I'm like, him. I'm like, oh, yeah. And Foster then they I decided also, to get rid of like, Finn. I also feel like they just copied and pasted the original like group of people. And they were like, okay, mm -hmm. like yeah. you're Luke, but you're a woman. Okay, <laughs> you're Han Solo, <laughs> you're still white, <laughs> you can still fly. We're not going to change that. That's a, that's a winning <laughs> recipe there. Okay. <laughs> All right, side companion. Yeah, you can be black. All right, and then that's pretty much it. So like, they didn't really they had to fit all the, the, the types in. There was no Chewie. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no, no Chewie. No replacement for Chewie, though. Yeah, well, like, he just stayed. Yeah. yeah, black representation, the Asian rep representation. Then they have She's the Chewie. Like a Latina. <laughs> or, 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 Latino. Oh, he's a. Oh, he's oh a, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. They definitely should have had a Chewbacca. Oh, come on. I just feel like it just feels like lazy writing. That's just all it feels like. It just feels like let's just copy and paste all this stuff over. That's how it is. It's how it is. Everything's monopolized. Now. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like with like the I new trilogy, I'm tired of going into the future. 
Let's go to the He's past. American. Let's go to the movie public. I, yeah, I want to go to the I'm old summer. I want lightsaber fights and cool force powers. Exactly. Yeah. Sith battles. And I wanted, that's why I loved about Vision, because I was excited just to like have raw or whatever. Yeah. But the, even then, like it's still under business, so like it can't be as dark as I would like it. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it makes our super dark, but I think it's like. I also, I think the rule of two, and for the dark side, I feel like it's just kind of like that. Yeah. I want like a five v five lightsaber fight. Dude, that'd be dope. That yeah, that could be interesting. I also. All right, I'm gonna go shit, and then I'm gonna go find my. Cool See, I thought it was about time for you. Uh, Ooh, okay. I thought your timing was going off. All the Taco Bell, man. <laughs> I did. Bro. Taking your spot. I love Star Wars so much. So, so like, I don't know a ton about Star Wars. I just watch the films, and that's about it. But I never completely understood the balance of the Force. Like, why can't there be too much good? Yeah, I never understood that yeah. either. They were just like, it has to be. Like, why not kill the Sith? Right. Why not? Just, like, no, we need them around just so that we stay in business. <laughs> I wish. I think. I think that's something they should explore. Like, why do you need the dark side? Like, if they would do something, um, sort of like. I mean, I never saw it, but like you know how like in Game of Thrones they kind of made it where it was like two people like needed each other, um, like the Targaryens versus the uh, Starks. Everything about? Oh no, it was the the Ice, the Ice Walkers. Oh yeah. Like how they 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 needed each other to survive, pretty much. Or White like Walkers. To, yeah, to like live. Like why don't they do something like that for the Darks on the good side? Like you guys need each other to. Oh, exist and the universe won't be in balance. White Walkers wanted to kill everyone, but that's well, maybe I'm. <laughs> I was like, right. but I get what you're tough. saying. Like, it'd be it'd be interesting if they would actually give an explanation to that. That's a little bit more I mean, clear cut than just saying. If you guys, I'm quiet right now because if you guys watch like the Clone Wars and like Rebels, they do they go, explain that? They go and do that kind of stuff. Well, well, I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. I, I really just want you guys to watch it. I, I, I really do want to watch no, it. No, you guys, it's like, it's... I'm going to watch it, so... I'm, I'm I just got to watch it in its full integrity, I guess. Which one explains it? Clone? Both. Well, oh, okay. Rebels goes into it and one up. Gotcha. Interesting. There's a few key episodes in Clone Wars where, like, they go to, like... This place that's like in between like space and time and stuff and it's like interesting where like do you feel like the people that represent the dark and light side like these like gods like force are like in there mm-hmm. and like kind of explain like do you feel like the force really is do you feel like it's a satisfying explanation yes yeah interesting oh. Well, I'll have to look into that because yeah. I didn't think it existed. Oh, yeah, I didn't think so, so either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> tough. Have, so That's great. tough. I was just like sitting here. Guys, that exists. <laughs> it's already out there. <laughs> just watch the movie. I mean, there's still watch people that are you know, Well, yeah, it's never going to end. Um, I also just want, like, I want a movie where, like, sort of like, you ever play that Forced Unleashed video game? Yeah. Where, like, the, like you just literally feel like a superhero. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I feel like the new Jedi are like, just muscles. Like, Man, just, very much. yeah. Like, in the Force Unleashed, the dude, like, pulls, like, a Star Destroyer thing and, like, crashes it to the Earth. I want that. Like, I want some dope, something dope. Something so, where you actually, like, just feel tingles in your body once it happens. Which, like, like, the closest we got to that is Anakin. Like, yeah. Turn into the Darth, I mean, Darth Vader. <laughs> like, that's kind of what I was. Wanting, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like that, just like a ball of power. Exactly, where he just like lashes out at something. That would be. Something must be inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, weird. It's so weird. Uh, I wonder what it could be. This literally could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone at the door? I don't think so. I think they. Guys, guys, it's got us to the gun jungle. Holy crap! It's coming in! It's coming in!